Welcome to this masterclass episode on how to set up, install, and run macOS Big Sur on an external disk. We call this a masterclass episode because we're going to be showing two methods, the entire steps from start to finish, set up and run macOS Big Sur on an external disk. Furthermore, after we've done playing around with macOS Big Sur, we'll show the entire process on how to reformat the external disk the right way to its original state. Before we begin, a few notes and tips that's purely optional to follow. 1. First and foremost, as a cautionary note, make sure to make a backup of your current computer using, for example, Apple Time Machine. 2. Make sure your current computer is able to run macOS Big Sur. Using a late 2014 Mac Mini was on the list of compatible computers. Attempting to download macOS Big Sur from the App Store on an uncompatible computer, you'll get the following pop-up window. 3. Make sure that your computer is up to date with the latest macOS that you're currently using on your computer. In our case, we're using the latest macOS Catalina 10.15.7. 4. Using a fast SSD helps with the experience of running macOS Big Sur from an external disk. The faster the better. 5. Turn Wi-Fi or disconnect Ethernet cable if connected. We noticed that having Wi-Fi or Ethernet connected made the install take longer, at least in our install. Anyway, we've got lots to cover, so let's get started. Therefore, with all the necessary notes and tips taken care of, let's begin with one of the two methods to install and run macOS Big Sur on an external disk. Both methods takes roughly the same amount of time to complete. Therefore, let's start with method 1, which involves using a macOS Big Sur USB installer to install macOS Big Sur on an external disk. We've already covered on a previous episode how to create a macOS Big Sur USB installer. The link can be found in the description below or on the card link shown in the top right hand corner of the screen. Next, prepare the blank external disk. Launch Disk Utility, click on the external disk on the sidebar, and then rename and format the disk to macOS Extended Journaled. We'll just rename it to Macintosh EXT HD. Therefore, assuming you've already created a macOS Big Sur USB installer, as mentioned earlier, with the USB installer connected to the computer, turn off your computer. Now, while holding down the Option key, power on the computer and continue holding down the option key until the boot screen appears. Click and select the macOS Big Sur installer icon shown here. On the recovery window, click on the macOS installer tab and then click the continue button here. After agreeing to the terms, connect the external disk to the computer. Click on the external disk icon, then the continue button. Now, the installation of macOS Big Sur will begin on the external disk. I'll just speed up the process from here. The computer will boot twice to your current macOS login screen window as shown. On both occasions, shut down the computer by clicking on the shutdown icon here. Just like before, while holding down the option key, turn the computer back on till you see the boot screen options. And again, on both occasions, select and click the Macintosh EX THD icon to continue the install process. After about 45 minutes or so, you'll finally be brought to the screen to enter your user details. Complete as shown. Once complete, you'll be brought to the macOS Big Sur desktop. An additional step is needed to complete the setup. By default, after installing macOS Big Sur on the external disk, it's selected as the default boot computer. We need to change that. In order for the boot order to be the main computer, which in our case is currently running macOS Catalina, do the following. Launch System Preferences and click on the Startup Disk icon. And, after entering your password, select your main computer as the first boot disk. Then, restart your computer. As you'll notice, the computer booted into to macOS Catalina as required by default. 
Now, anytime you want to run macOS Big Sur from the external disk, do the following. Like before, while holding down the option key, power on the computer. Continue holding down the option key until the boot screen appears. Click and select the Macintosh EXT HD icon to begin running Big Sur from the external disk. That takes care of method 1. Moving right along, method 2 involves launching macOS Big Sur installer directly from your computer. Therefore, after downloading macOS Big Sur from the App Store, let's prepare the external disk as was shown in method 1. With the external disk connected to your computer, in our case and named Macintosh EXT HD, launch the macOS Big Sur installer. Select the external disk icon and after clicking the continue button, the installation of Big Sur will begin. Unlike method 1, the install process is seamless, no human interactions needed. After about 40 minutes or so, you'll be brought to the screen to enter your details as was shown in method 1. I'll just speed up the process from here. Again, like before, choose your computer boot order. That takes care of method 2. Don't go away just yet. One more thing, or I should say, one more important thing. To format or revert the external disk to its original state after you've done playing around with macOS Big Sur, you need to do the following. Using the usual erase or format process in disk utility, we were unable to erase or format the external disk. In order to do so, executing a terminal command was necessary as follows. After logging onto your main computer, do the following. Step 1. Eject the external disk. Step 2. Launch the terminal and enter the following command. It's very important that you pay special attention and note the identifier of your computer. As you'll notice in our case, these are the disk identifier for our main internal disk computer. Step 3. Connect your external disk to the computer and as was done before, issue the following command. Take note of your external disk identifier. In our case, our disk identifier is disk2s2. Step 4. Issue the following command using your noted disk identifier to reformat the external disk. All terminal commands is included in the descriptions below. Since our external disk identifier is disk2s2, we'll add it to the end of the command shown above. After pressing return, the erase process for the external disk will begin. Step 5. Launch Disk Utility and you'll notice you're able to rename or format the external disk as usual. You now have two methods to set up and run macOS Big Sur from an external disk. Use the method that you feel comfortable with. The choice is entirely up to you. Both methods work and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of the next upcoming episode. Peace.